like can we talk about socks <laughs> <laughs> he really got me there like i really was like not expecting that at all like all throughout the episode i was under the impression like maybe we won't even get to see who took the phone or wiley did take it but neither of that was the case it was socks all along which made me wonder like why is he doing this like what is his purpose because if you think about it outside of navigating through amsterdam because he's the most familiar one he doesn't really quite have a job and not only that he invited himself into the group when no one asked he was just immediately their driver at the end of episode three and that all kind of just happened and so i realized since meeting darius he's been very disingenuous and quite performative and that is heavily emphasized in this episode like for instance he was more like mad about the phone going missing than al was and it wasn't even sock's phone to begin with he even went as far as threatening wiley which was really nothing more than a ploy to divert any attention off of him and to like not raise any suspicion because the even the initial like rise of the question of where the phone was he was the first one to speak up and to point fingers as who could have possibly done it leading Ern in a very uncomfortable situation and accusing a dream foundation kid which still all in all brings me to the question of why he's doing all this in the first place i can only speculate that he had maybe some prior knowledge in the group coming to amsterdam and so he thought to himself maybe i can infiltrate this group and sabotage from the inside out which could be in direct relation to this episode's title cancer attack it starts from within and it spreads like wildfire and so it appears that moving forward socks will be operating much like a cancer to the group up until he's caught which i hope to be soon which i'm surprised that of all people darius hasn't caught on to because you know he's like this very intuitive character and so maybe because they kind of trust in him to carry them around the country that their guards are down so really as a consequence of trusting too easily they're stuck with him until otherwise but i don't know i don't really know how to transition from this but speaking of wiley i i feel bad for him like i feel bad for assuming that it was him all along he really was just a fan but it makes me wonder like how did he know the stuff involving like al's past like the whole knowing his phone number i feel like can just be chalked up to him being such a fan that he'd be willing to go many great lengths to get it but the unreleased contents exclusive to that phone unless he had direct contact with the phone or by virtue socks there's like it's up in the air as to how he would just know that and so something that i had thought of while watching was there might have been some points in the conversation with wiley that he was trying to elude who could have taken the phone remember the conversation he had with Ern, where he mentions or he interjects and says oh you don't have the same like southern accent as paperboy and he goes on to saying oh you must have felt separate Ern responds what does that have anything to do with and so he's like oh people just want to be a part of the group they want to be seen and it doesn't matter what for. The only person that comes to mind in regards to all of that is Socks. He was trying way too hard, almost even saying the N word, almost like trying to share their same frustration, but like times a hundred really which I think even in hindsight did not help the group at all because there might have been some instill of fear into Wiley because if you recall moments before he left the room after the one-on-one -on -one conversation with Al he kind of just stops at the door for a moment before leaving and so I believe there's no way that wasn't intentional like <laughs> there's just no way but everything apart from Wiley and Socks I realize there's distance between Ern and Al like they're cousins but Darius seems to be much closer to Al but at the same time he did live with him all this time and so of course they're gonna have a stronger bond and not only that Ern is a manager so he's just busy on a lot of things including like the stuff that he's going through but it does seem like Al is concerned for him but Ern is kind of just like in his own head especially involving like Van which we seen in this episode he texted her several times and all she just gave him was a thumbs up so i've addressed it before but i think the issue between the two might have more so to do with Ern coming to like you know his own conclusion in regards to all that and we might not see that until maybe even next season but all in all i thought this was a really great episode i hope you enjoyed what i had to say um I, we'll get socks next time i promise you we will but anyways i'll see you guys in the next one